what this is. Good afternoon. My name is Dwayne Brown with the Office of Communications and welcome to NASA headquarters. Today NASA reveals Hey DJ, yes, yes, yes. Tonight stars. Neil Wise, principal investigator. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Pasadena, California. Make bad things go away. Make everything okay. So uh, one of the characteristics of NEOWISE is that it really was a fairly small telescope in a low Earth orbit. In fact, the telescope would kind of fit under your arm like this, so it's not particularly large. But by virtue of being in space and operating at infrared wavelengths, it's a very powerful telescope, and it turns out to be very good at finding asteroids and comets. Now, if you go to the first animation here, you can see a little representation of what WISE looks like going around the Earth. It's always pointing outward from the Earth, surveying the whole sky. And as the Earth goes around the sun, this allows the telescope to very quickly and efficiently carry out a survey of the whole sky. And in fact, it was so fast, we were able to survey the whole sky twice in infrared wavelengths in only one year. And you can see here a little representation of the difference between visible light and the infrared light that WISE was able to see. So this was a very efficient and effective way of surveying the sky. And the original purpose of the mission was actually to study cool stars in very distant galaxies, and it's doing a great job of that. However, it turns out to also be very good at detecting asteroids. This is because it's using infrared light. So uh, one of the characteristics of NEOWISE is that it really was a fairly small telescope in a low Earth orbit. In fact, the telescope would kind of fit under your arm like this, so it's not particularly large. Sure, all the little kids are fun. We've got a gun! We'll shoot! I'm warning you! I'll shoot! But by virtue of being in space and operating at infrared wavelengths, it's a very powerful telescope, and it turns out to be very good at finding asteroids and comets. Bad things go away. Make everything okay. Now, if you go to the first animation here, you can see a little representation of what WISE looks like going around the Earth. It's always you lost it. You, on the other hand, are obviously crazy. Pointing outward from the Earth, surveying the whole sky, and as the Earth goes around the sun, this allows the telescope to very quickly and efficiently carry out a survey of the whole sky. And in fact, it was so fast, we were able to survey the whole sky twice in infrared wavelengths in only one year. And you can see here a little representation of the difference between visible light and the infrared light that WISE was able to see. So this was a very efficient and effective way of surveying the sky. And the original purpose of the mission was actually to study yeah, 
galaxies, and it's doing a great job of that. However, it turns out to also be very good at detecting asteroids. This is because it's using infrared Thank you. I, I realize you're focusing on near-Earth asteroids today, but uh, there's been so much talk about the potential for finding a planet X or some sort of large body uh, through the WISE survey. Can you comment on any, uh, any status on, on that sort of search or, or maybe even reassure people that planet X isn't coming to get them next year? Uh, yes, this is Amy Meinzer. I'm happy to answer this one. There, uh, Planet X is not coming to get us. Um, so, but we are looking to see if there are any other bodies in the outer part of the solar system with the WISE data. This is a very natural project for WISE. And so we're still working on it right now. Uh, it's, we've obviously just returned a huge amount of data from the telescope. It's going to take us a long time to sort through. Uh, but the initial results are very promising. You may have seen earlier results where we've discovered a new class of very cool type of stars with WISE. Uh, but the search is still on, and uh, we don't think that there's anything that's hazardous in the outer solar system. We think that this is a, just a sort of a, if there is something out there, it would be a large body in a roughly circular orbit. Our next caller, Denise Chow from Space.com. So when you say the initial results are very promising, yeah, uh, the, the initial results are very promising. Anything else you wanted to say on that point? We've actually been able to confirm the discovery of 100 new uh, objects that are these very cool stars called brown dwarfs. And so uh, that's very similar to what uh, people are interested in looking for. So we've actually found some of these that are relatively close to the Earth, but none of these are closer at this point than the nearest star to our solar system. So it's a good start, though. Thank you. I realize you're focusing on near-Earth asteroids today, but uh, there's been so much talk about the potential for finding a planet X or some sort of large body uh, through the WISE survey. Can you comment on any, uh, any status on, on that sort of search or, or maybe even reassure people that Planet X isn't coming to get them next year. Only in America. Uh, yes, this is Amy Meinzer. I'm happy to answer this one. There, uh, Planet X is not coming to get us. Um, so, but we are looking to see if there are any other bodies in the outer part of the solar system with the WISE data. This is a very natural project for WISE. And so we're still working on it right now. Uh, it's, we've obviously just returned a huge amount of data from the telescope. It's going to take us a Uh, 
uh, but the initial results are very promising. You may have seen earlier results where we've discovered a new class of very cool type of stars with Ys. Uh, but the search is still on. No, let's just Bad things go away. Make everything okay. And uh, we don't think that there's anything that's hazardous in the outer solar system. We think that this is a, just a sort of a, if there is something out there, it would be a large body in a roughly circular orbit. Only in America. Our next caller, Denise Chow from Space.com. So when you say the initial results are very promising, yeah, uh, the the initial results are very promising. Anything else you wanted to say on that point? You know, that is that in all we saw, I get me an angus and mock beer of responses, or what you need, uh, I guess the mock beer of responses, or what you need, yes, you know what? I've seen it, mock, that's here, it's mock, oh, I've seen it. Well, okay, and I'm... We've actually been able to confirm the discovery of 100 new uh, objects that are these very cool stars called brown dwarfs. Because I only have your best interests at heart. And so uh, that's very similar to what uh, people are interested in looking for. So we've actually found some of these that are relatively close to the Earth, but none of these are closer at this point than the nearest star to our solar system. So it's a good start, though. What are the good it was? This right here, right here is payback from way back. I don't play that. Play that. This right here. Right it's payback from way back. I don't play that. Play that. Right this here. right here. Right here. It's payback right from way here. back. I don't right play that. This right here. Right here. It's payback right from way here. back. I don't right play that. He said this. It made me think. It made me think. He said this. It made me think. It made me think.